so uh, we are going to discuss about artificial intelligence so i have already explained that artificial intelligence is the super set and all other things like even data science machine learning deep learning all these things are within the super set so let's uh, go ahead and see here so deep learning is the subset of uh, machine learning and uh, is inspired by neural networks in the human brain so you can see here artificial intelligence is the superset and machine learning is a part of artificial intelligence there are many other things in artificial intelligence which is not like machine learning but still that is part of artificial intelligence so uh, what we say machine learning so machine learning is the ability of machines to learn without being programmed so machine learning is something in which we are not doing any programming for the machine but the machine is learning some things and uh, it is uh, maintaining some kind of weights or some kind of parameters within itself and that parameters can be changed and still it will work on different parameters also but uh, efficiency might be better or uh, maybe not so good but uh, all it works on based on weights based on parameters and all that things those are all numerical things and that has to be saved in the model and then we can work on that particular model with those parameters and those weights so that is the machine learning and here we are not doing lots of programming just like we do um, usual uh, usual procedural programming that we used to do earlier so that's the thing here so here you can see it is artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning so deep learning is a concept that has arrived from machine learning right so deep learning is a concept that has arrived from machine learning so in machine learning we use lots of algorithms uh, maybe clustering classification and all those algorithms in which we have uh, linear linear uh, linear classification multilinear classification and then we have uh, um, uh, uh, k means clustering then k nearest never classification so all these different algorithms are there uh, support vector machines and there are so many different uh, distinguished algorithms are there there are uh, still so many different algorithms which we don't remember because they are not uh, they are rarely used or are used for some specific purpose only so most of the programmers don't remember the name of those algorithms there are, there are some models which is based on probability only like hidden markov model so they are all part of machine learning algorithms but then there is one such algorithm we call it neural network neural network so that is uh, something when it is extended it can also form different different types of uh, programming so uh, it can be recurrent neural network it can be uh, convolutional neural network so different different types of neural networks may appear uh, so it uh, starts with a small neural network which can solve some common classification and clustering problem like other machine learning algorithms but when we can have, we have privilege to extend the number of layers in a neural, uh, deep learning and we have a privilege to increase number of neurons in each layers so we can make a deep learning with uh, multiple multiple neurons and multiple um, multiple neurons and multiple uh, layers so we can make multiple layers earlier when we used to make neural networks we used to have only two three layers with that we used to accomplish tasks but as computation has become uh, uh, cheaply available we can do lots of computation in a small stories and in a small time so now we have extended it to deep learning and now we can have even seven layers of uh, uh a system and in each layer we can have hundreds and hundreds of neurons also and we can do solve complex to complex even one of the most complex problem like playing a chess board can be done with the help of deep learning network so that can be done so this is the uh, power of deep learning algorithms like it can solve almost any problem and its architecture is very common very similar 
and we need not bother too much about its architecture unless we are sol solving a specific problem but uh, its architecture if you see a simple neural network or a deep learning programming you will see its uh, architecture architecture is very simple and common so we will discuss about all these things artificial intelligence we have we already know that it's like uh, uh, something which imitates human thinking in one way or other way it talks about all those sensors and everything that is required for uh, artificial intelligence so, uh, even mm, google car which is automated car driverless car that uh, involves all these things artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning 